What's up, SSN? This is it is Sports System Spike, and I am back bringing us a brand new video. Today's video is very, 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 very special because today I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be taking to university with me. If you guys do not already know, I'm going to UNLV. This is the school I will be going to. I don't know if you guys can see it clearly. Well, well of course you guys can see it clearly because you, because I will tell you guys in a little bit. But anyways, this video is going to be showing you guys what I'm going to be taking with me and how prepared I am for this upcoming year in school. Um. You guys, some of you guys do take a year off from college or something like that, but I decided that I'm going to go straight into college so I can finish faster. Don't think that I'm going to stop my YouTube channel just because I'm not going to be, you know, gaming so much and I'm going to be in school. You get me? Um, I want to go straight into school because I want to finish faster. Some people are going to have to have an extra year or maybe two more years because of their breaks. And, and I'm not hitting on them. It's kind of a good idea because you rack up on money. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I bought recently to explain... Why I bought it and um, why I would need it. So what I'm going to first start off with is the Astro Backpack. The reason why I bought the Astro Backpack is clearly in university. Well, I'm going to be living in a dorm um, in the south side of Las Vegas. Well, not the south side of Las Vegas, the south side of the university. I got this Astro Backpack because it's kind of, it's very, how do I explain it? It's really, it's a really good backpack. It's, it won't rip because it's, it better not rip. This shit was a hundred bucks. Um, but also when I open it, it's, it has a lot of space for books, paperwork, and all that. Clearly as you guys can see, right here is where I put I can put my camera. I'm gonna be vlogging a lot of gaming is gonna be really hard for me. I know, I know. I'm not gonna be gaming so much. I'm gonna have I'm not gonna have that much time because I'm gonna get a job. I have to Well I'm gonna plan to get a job on campus. Um I'm gonna also uh what's it called? Well I have to do my homework, I have to go to school, it's it's whatever. Um, so yeah, this is pretty good space where I can put all of my camera stuff and all that or anything And the reason why I also bought this backpack is because I lost the zipper It's because this thing can carry a PS4 and a laptop together in this bag right here This this is a very good backpack if it can carry a PS4 and a laptop It can carry some books it can it can carry everything that I would need you know but the good thing is about this is, is I'm going to be living on campus, so I don't really have to take my books. If I have to, of course, it's going to, between classes, you're going to have some time because the campus is big. But since I'm going to live on campus, I'm going to have all my books in my dorm. So yeah, so this is a pretty, pretty good backpack to use. I like it as a strap thing, just in case if I have carry some heavy shit, you know. And yeah, so far, I like this backpack and I'm really happy about it. So the next thing I am going to show you, I'm sorry about the lighting. I see that the lighting is kind of bad. It's because I don't have those studio lights. I'm going to be buying those studio lights in the future, but right now I'm just using any normal outside light. But what I did get is also in this bag, I got a pair of Audio Technicas. Um, I know a lot of people like to get Beats and all that shit, but I kind of didn't want to buy Beats. I heard that they're really bad and I don't like it myself. Um, but these ones, they open up, look, they open up just, you can put them anywhere. You put them like this. Literally, you can put them in a bag like this and you can carry it anywhere with you. But for right now, just saying, you can open them. And so far, these are a good headset. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know Audio Technic because if you don't know, this is a very good, good, good product. They're, I'd say they're better than Beats. I say they're a lot better than Beats because they don't... Let's say if you put it really, really loud all the way to the max, they will not fuck up your eardrums. They will not go too loud. They're very good. And they're really comfortable, to be honest. You can adjust them. They're not noise canceling, but the quality of of these headset is, you can, if you have loud music playing, you cannot hear outside of you. You cannot hear outside of this headset. That's why I like them so much. They're, it's really good. I'm really happy that I bought these. Um, I would not I did not regret buying these. Um, in the future, I will get the more advanced ones. This is the... The second to last generation of headset, I think, and uh, and in the future, I'll end up buying them. Yeah, it comes into this backpack. Look, in this little bag, backpack. Into the little bag, it's pretty good. But when you do buy them, they're gonna come in in this box. It's gonna, it looks really nice box. It's very packaged nicely. It's not that big. It shows you what it has in the back. Yeah, and when you open it. And when you open it, it has like this flap right here where you can pull it down, and it has right here where it has the headset. This thing comes off, but it's really cool, and I and it's and I was really excited when I opened the package. It's awesome. 
And of course, these are going to be used for when I'm going around campus, walking around. I just don't want to listen to no one. Just want to focus on listening to music and just walk to my other class or something. I have these Audio Technicas to have with me. And the really neat thing about the Audio Technicas is that it comes with this cord. It comes with three different cords. Um, I'm not I'm not that kind of person who knows so much about cords, but it has this one where you can plug it into like a mix amp or something like that. It's really big. There's a small one that of course goes inside. And the cool thing about these is that it has a lock system. So when you put this in, this little one, I don't know if you can set, you, oh yeah, there we go. Oh, this camera is so nice. But it's gonna focus on it. You kind of, when you put it in, you put it and then you twist it and it locks into the, into the headset. Then it comes with this one that's gonna be a smaller cord, so just in case if you're trying to just watch a movie on a laptop or anything, this can plug into anything. Um, it's short so that it's not everywhere. Then it also has this really long one. It's a very long cord, just in case if you're trying to watch a movie um, with a TV that's further than you, but you're trying to stay quiet, this thing is really long and it really helps out. Well, of course, this stretching one can also do the same thing because it stretches, but it's kind of, there's a big difference. This isn't, it stretches for a long way, but Actually, I think, you, I think this was, might be longer when you stretch it. I don't know, I haven't really used that, I just bought the Audio Technicas. The next thing I'm gonna show you is what I'm gonna take with me is gonna be this, what's it called? I don't know what it's called, this is called the Amazon Echo. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna focus it with, to you guys. Hopefully the camera focuses on Maybe if I take my head out. No. Okay, well it took a while for it to focus, I can get off my chair, but this is the Amazon Echo. The one big reason why I'm taking this is because with this Amazon Echo, you can literally tell it anything you want. You can ask it what's on my to-do list or what's what's on my calendar today or just ask a question. There's some neat apps on it. You can tell it like Alexa on board and then it'll tell you like some neat facts. I didn't know this, but a lady had hiccups for 69 years. And that's what this thing told me and that's actually kind of cool. So yeah, so when I'm in school, this is gonna be, this is gonna help me a lot by, you know, just in, in case I, this is gonna, I'm gonna be really busy just in case if I'm missing a class or I have something to do that day, Alexa will let me know and that's actually pretty cool. It's an Alexa thing, you guys know what it is, like Siri. But that's why I bought it, it was only $50 and I was like, why not? I'm gonna get it, it's gonna help me out in the future. And it came, and it came wrapped really nice for this kind of thing. It, it, I like the way it was wrapped, it's, it's really cool. The next thing that I did get was the Amazon Tap. This thing is a, is a Bluetooth speaker and it also works with Alexa. It goes, it, it logs onto your Wi-Fi. This is mostly, if you want to keep it at home, this is a very good product. Just to keep it, a very good product. Man, I can barely pronounce stuff. A very good, a very, very good product where um, this connects to the internet and let's say your phone dies. This doesn't necessarily need to be Bluetooth. Like, this just goes off Wi-Fi. As you guys can see, the three, the three, when it's going blue right here, you guys, it's trying to log onto your internet. You're gonna, it, you're gonna do the whole setup thing when it comes to it. But when you tap on it, you can literally ask it a bunch of things. It's a, it's kind of the same thing as the Amazon Echo, except this is mostly for music and it's. Thanks a lot. That shows that it went on through the Wi-Fi. It's a lot better, you know, it's it's high quality. This does not have a bass. That's the only problem that I didn't like about this. It doesn't have bass. It'll just be, when they say it's crisp music, they're not lying, it's crisp music. You can hear every everything they say. You know, the rappers that just mumble and all that, you can hear it through this. It's really, really good. Shit though. <sighs> you have dogs barking on my video. But look, if I tap this, Alexa, play my Conejo playlist on Pandora. I couldn't find any songs that match your request. Okay, sometimes it will piss you off. I'm gonna try the one more time. battery is currently low. Okay, I've been using this for a while. Play my Conejo playlist on Pandora. Getting your Conejo radio oh, station go. from Pandora. I can probably put it on. Yeah. One, two, one, two. This is the motherfucking street platoon. This rock coming at you. And I really like the music, the way that it plays it. It's crispy clear. I don't want to play the song too much because I don't want to get copyrighted on this video. And the neat thing about this is that when you want to charge it, 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 it comes with this. You don't necessarily, you can in the back, 
It has a USB port where you can put, it's like a normal Android charger or something like that. It has the port in the back, it has a power button, and it has a Bluetooth button. Let's say you want to hook it up to your, your um, phone, uh, you can press this button and it hooks up to it. Or somebody else's, you just press this button and it looks for any Bluetooth device that's available. But other than that, this, this hooks up to a USB, USB port too. You put the USB port, USB cord, you put that right here and you, you just have it laying lay there at your house or something and you just put this on top and it just starts charging automatically. It doesn't matter how you put it, you can put it backwards, forward, any way, it charges it. And it's a lot better than having it on USB. You have, you can just, when you're about to, when you're in a hurry or something, you can just pick it up and you just leave. It's, that's why I love this so much. It goes for around $130. It is kind of pricey, but it is worth how much it was. It, I, I really love it. I, I really love that I bought this. And the new thing also is that if you press the, the volume up and down button both at the same time, it tells you the battery life. Some Bluetooth speakers, they do not tell you the battery life or they just have the blue color and all that. And sometimes you just, it doesn't tell you the truth or not, but you just click these two and it tells you exactly it's at 95%, it's at about 90%, it's at 92%. That's pretty cool about the speaker. That's why I'm really happy that I bought it. And the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is this acoustic foam. This foam is very cheap. It comes at like $12 for I think 12 or 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It comes with 12. 6 plus 6 is 12, right? Yeah. Uh, it, comes with, it comes with 12 of them. These are so that you can put them on your wall. Let's say you're, you're a gamer. You have a very advanced mic. Um, so the big reason why... It's like you guys do not hear an echo in this video at all. You guys don't really hear an echo is because I have this. It's like covers for beds. Um, so the re it kind of cancels out the echo on its own. But the thing is when I go into my dorm room, I'm not going to be able to have this up there because I'm going to have a roommate. So I bought these. These are the ones that you can mount on the wall. You can staple them on the top. And they have no echo when you're playing or you have the mic on or like the camera right now. There would be no echo. You would feel like you're in a garage or you're in a cafeteria, you know. You can hear everybody's conversation through the freaking walls and stuff. This will help out so much. There's 12 of them. Um, it doesn't look like a lot. It looks like a little package, but they're actually stacked up together. Um, okay, I kind of didn't want to open this until I got to my dorm and stuff, but you know, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys what it's like. I'm just going to have to figure out where to put them. But it looks like it's a little, but it is stacked up. See? It is stacked up together. So I'm going to pull one out for you guys so you guys can see. Oh, shit. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. See, this is how it comes, and with this, there are two. So you would mount this on the wall. This this is studio acoustic foam. This is so that when rappers are rapping, it, there's no echo. With it, I need to stop looking at the top of the camera. Look in the lens. I'm so sorry, guys. But this is so that you mount them on the wall. It looks really neat, and uh, and it's very it's really easy to put up. And let's say you rip it or something, you can completely buy more. It's only twelve dollars for a pack of twelve. Um, some are more expensive than others because they come colored or they come in some kind of more special material. But if you guys want to go that advanced, go on ahead, I'd say. I highly recommend these. Even the expensive ones. I, I, I just bought these ones because I wanted to try them out first before I buy very expensive ones. These are only like 16 bucks or 12 bucks for 12, literally. This is really worth it. I really like them. And uh, I've seen a lot of YouTubers use them, Microplier and all them. You guys know who they are. Okay, so I am really excited for this part of the video. This is the reason why I wanted to explain this explain this to you guys in this video. I don't even know why I said this is the reason. Ignore what I just said. I am very excited for this part because this is going to change my life a lot. Um, if you guys don't know, I recently dropped out of the team, Deception. I am no longer with them. I will not go back. I know I've dropped and then went back because it was just some minor issues. This time, I'm not going to put no one on blast. I am not going to tell you guys the reason why I left. I'm not gonna, maybe in the future, if I decide to maybe explain why, I am not mad at my teammates, I am not, nothing, I forgive everybody for whatever they do, I don't judge, blah blah blah, it's whatever, but just to let you guys know, long story short, I left the team, I'm no longer part of this team deception, I think that might be it for me for Call of, competitive Call of Duty, I'm gonna be making videos on Call of Duty, I reported World War 2, I reported the season pass, everything, I am set for that game, I'm so excited for that game, I really wanna play it, just looking at the videos of it. It looks so amazing. Call of Duty is safe. It, boots on ground is 
they can't change that. Do not bring it back to space or any of that shit. Leave that for Mass Effect. I, I don't, well, I, I don't play Mass Effect. It looks spacey to me. Leave that for Halo, okay? Uh, but Call of Duty should always be boots to ground and boots to boots to ground, and it's very competitive. But to get to what I really want to show you guys is the G7X Mark II. This is an empty box. I am recording right now. I'm recording myself of the G7X Mark II. I know I look a little weird. I hope I don't look a little weird. Maybe that's just me. But this camera, out of using it for a little bit, I've been taking pictures, recording a little bit of stuff. The quality on this camera is amazing. I know that some of you guys might want, you guys do probably prefer the DSL more, the DSLR, uh, one of those really big cameras, but I'd rather start off with a smaller camera that's very affordable and has amazing quality just out the back. Um, the only thing is that I'm going to have a problem with that I heard is going to be with the audio. I have to buy something for the for the wind so that you guys don't hear or all that shit that will fuck up your ears if you're wearing earphones or anything, you know. But other than that, I'm very happy with this camera. If you guys want it, uh, go buy it. You can get it at Best Buy, Amazon. It's called the G7X Mark II. It's a very high quality camera. I love its performance so far and I'm very excited that I purchased it. And what comes inside, for some reason, if you want a memory card to come with it, you can go ahead and buy it on Amazon and it should come with a free, with a free SD card, maybe 36 gigs or 12 gigs, I don't remember. But yeah, it comes with this big book, and it comes wrapped and all that, and yeah, that's pretty much what it just comes with. It's, I was planning to unbox it for you guys, but that would just be a whole video to itself, and it'd be boring. So I just just show you guys how what it looks like when I'm using it right now. And I need to stop looking at the screen. I'm so sorry, guys. And what I also did purchase for this camera when I went to go buy it, like I said, it did not come with an SD card, SSD card, so I decided to... Wait, is it SSD? SD card, whatever, it's it's a memory card. So it did not come with the SD card, so I decided to buy one myself. This is a, this is a 64 gig SD card. I wonder if it'll zoom in. There you go. It did zoom in. Oh my god, this quality is so good. But I did buy a 64. The only problem with this camera is that it's like it shows everything backwards so much. Oh, we'll see. But anyways, this SD card is 64 gigs. I bought it for $30 because it was on sale. Originally, this would be $90, but this records for about, it'd be, I think, 100 and some minutes. Over an hour, and that's very good for an SD card because I don't need that many. Uh, to be honest, this is a lot of memory. I don't need that much, and I just got a Snapchat. But, oh, well, um, yeah, man, probably they're typing, and you guys are going to hear that again. But this SD card can record a lot, and, um, and... I don't need that long. Uh, I don't need that much memory. I can just delete it right after I edit the video and post it. And I also did buy an extra battery. I heard, I wonder if you guys can zoom in. This did cost me $60. Please zoom in. Maybe I take my face out. There you go. Um, this went for about 60 bucks. The reason why I did buy another, uh, why I bought another battery is because I heard that you, if you're going to be a daily vlogger or even just a vlogger bi-weekly or whatever, not bi-weekly, but every other day or whatever, you're going to be recording a lot to get the best content and I just said, you know what, that I want to do that and I decided to buy two batteries. Um, and the charger that it comes with is, so it comes with this charger, the one that you guys, I'm pretty sure every, my, maybe every camera, every camera comes with this charger. Hopefully it zooms up, maybe I put it in front of my face, it needs something to zoom up to, please zoom. There you go, I focused. This this charger is the one that it puts it into the wall and stuff, and I'm pretty sure most camera owners have this. Some of them have two chargers, so you can charge both of the batteries at the same time. But yeah, this is what I got for this camera, extra stuff. I am very happy with this camera. You guys are gonna be getting a lot of vlogs while I'm at school, you know. I decided, you know what, if I'm gonna be going to the University of Las Vegas, why not vlog everything? And and yeah. I hope these videos are going to come out good, and I'm pretty sure I'm sweating, and this camera is so good that I'm, I hope it's not capturing it. But if you guys are ever trying to plan to, if you guys are ever planning to get a camera, I highly recommend the G7X Mark II. Highly recommend it. This is a Canon G7X Mark II. I know that some of you, there's another camera for Sony that you guys do compare it to. There's another camera for Sony. I know. I don't, I personally do not know what how good that camera is from Sony. I don't know what they call it, but it, but you guys will all figure it out. 
but um but it's a uh, they, they say that's a good camera, but I this is the most popular the Canon G7X Mark II is the most popular Vlogging camera that I know more high advanced youtubers do have um, Bigger cameras better cameras the more high quality ones that are like 4k and all that But if you're a small youtuber starting up kind of just like me this camera is perfect It comes up to about maybe seven eight hundred dollars uh, depends on the tags or where you get it from um, So yeah, if you want to get a camera, this is the perfect camera this is HDMI. There's a cord that you can get for it for HDMI just in case um, you have like a more advanced laptop, I'd say, or something where you want to take it through an HDMI cord. I don't know. Um, I'm going to find out later. So the next thing I do want to show you guys is my Razer setup. Um, I am not a PC gamer. You guys do know that I'm not a PC gamer. I'm not into H1Z1 or, or CSGO. Well, I'm not saying that it's a bad game. I just don't play it, but I am planning to maybe get a little bit into that, you know, make some videos for the people who do like it. Um, we'll see in the future, but for right now, I got this keyboard, the Razer Chroma. This, this, this keyboard is amazing. I want to show it to you guys from every angle. It's a mechanical keyboard, so it's clickety clackety. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear it. That is amazing. I love the sound of that. How could you guys not love that sound? It just makes me wanna. And the other thing I wanna show you guys is the mouse that I got with it. This is the Razer, I think I'm gonna just call it the Razer Chroma. I don't, uh, wait, wait, no, 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 it's not the Chroma, it's, I don't know what mouse it is. Um, Damn, I should have done more, more of a home before I did this video. But it's a very nice mouse. Um, you know what? Just for the sake of it, for this mouse, I'm going to put the link down in the, description, in the description below because I don't know what it is. But this has buttons on it so that, let's say, uh, hopefully it focuses. Maybe I'm going to take my face out. There we go. No, please focus back on it. There we go. It finally focused. I had to get up for it. But it has these buttons so that when you're playing like uh, CSGO and you got to switch between the guns and all that, you can click one for... Um, for the knife, two for pistol, three for SMG or AR that you want to use or something like that. And and this mouse is really good. I love the feel of it. It's just I enjoy using this mouse. The next thing that I'm gonna show you is I got I got the Razer Firefly. This is a this is a mouse mat that of course lights up as you guys can see right there. Um, that's this right here. It kind of it has the LED thing like right here on the sides. Um, I have to look at the freaking screen so I know. Well, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like thing on my thing. But this mat, you can you can choose to make this in a fabric, to buy it in a fabric type of way or a plastic type of thing. I got it in a plastic way. It's like you guys can probably hear it right now, but I got it more like that because it's more loose. Some of you guys be, might be more comfortable with the fabric kind. But other than that, I'm very happy with my Razer setup. I highly recommend these products. Um, okay, there there is another product. Damn, there is another product that is is kind of competing with Razer and keyboards, mouse and mats and all that. Um, you guys can probably check those out, but I don't know the name of it, but it's more... I don't know the name of that other product, but I'd say it's more brighter in lights and stuff, but I don't know about the quality of those products because I don't own any of those type of products. I don't really know... Um, if they're highly advanced or meant for gamer, I don't know. It's another product that you guys probably do know, but I decided to go with Razer because it's the most known and they have the best reviews. So I was like, you know what? Why spend my money on something that I don't know is good when I can just buy something that I know that I can be comfortable with? And with, with these things, I am very happy. And of course, I have to show off my babies. I decided for school, I'm, you gotta go with new shoes, you know, you gotta go fresh and all that. The only reason why I'm not showing you my pants and shirts and all that is because you guys all see what I, I'm, I'm practically wearing that shirt right now. But I decided to buy these. I did use them a few times going on a date to the movies and stuff with a bunch of girls. Nah, I'm just kidding, only one. Anyways, these are the Cortezes. I love Cortezes so much. You guys know that I only fuck with these shoes. I am planning to get some other shoes that are not Cortezes because I don't want to just be using just this pair of shoes. But for right now, I got these ones, the blue ones. I've used them a couple times, and I also use these ones, but I also bought these. I bought a white pair so that I'd be looking fresh out there in the sun, you know. These ones are 
my favorite. We fuck with uh, Converse, we fuck with uh, PF Flyers, you know. This is this OG type of shit, you get me? Uh, nothing but the essays out here just chilling with this. And I'm not and I'm not being over exaggerated, this is the gangster shit, you know. These ones, easy to run away from the cops with, these things will not slip off your feet. You know, you can go, you can go fast with these, you get me? Like, I love these shoes, you hear? I love these, I don't fuck with any other shoes, I don't fuck. Nike is the best company out there. Now that I got that out of the way, the only thing that I'm kind of vibing about this camera is that I look kind of orange right now, and that's not the camera's fault. I'm using very bad lighting. I am. I could be, when I go outside. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not planning to vlog yet. Um, I still gotta get some stuff ready. I'd say I'd be vlogging in about two weeks, two weeks max. Um, but I'm gonna be vlogging. Um, so the the lighting is kind of bad. I look orange. I look oily as I'm looking at the at the screen right here. Um, I don't like it, but I always look good, you know. You know, I, I look good. I look good. Um, so this is the G, the G7X Mark II. I am so happy with this camera, and I decided that I'm gonna go buy this camera, and I'm gonna be nothing but vlogging now. Um, I'm scratch that. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm gonna be mostly vlogging. Most of my videos are gonna be vlogs. Most of them, I'm gonna be going out, you know, hanging out. It's gonna be all recorded. Um, and when World War II comes out, I'm gonna be making some videos on there. It's not gonna be daily videos of World War II. Um, as soon as it comes out, I'm most likely am gonna make some videos on it. But you guys have to understand that it's gonna be hard. By the way, I am very excited for that game. I am really excited for that game. World War II looks amazing. But yeah, of course, you guys know now, I left the Team Deception. I will no longer be a part of it. I will not go back. I am gonna still be Deception Spike. The only reason why is because in YouTube, you can't really change your name. If you can, I'm gonna find out how to change it. But most likely I won't because um, everybody mostly knows me for Deception Spike. And Deception Spike is not an official team, so I can kind of keep the name. Deception is not an official team yet. When they do become a team, I am fully supportive of them. For supportive of them, I hope they become a competitive team, and I hope they go in more into their career of competitive gaming. I am not a hater. Um, I really hope they make it. I'm very proud of them for all the practice that they're putting in. For me, I, there's just some situations where you guys need to understand. I couldn't be a part of anymore. Um, I'm, I decided to be on my own now. I'm just my own person. This is my YouTube. I've been. Uh, the only thing I am gonna say is that that team kind of been holding me back on some stuff I want to do I have been doing reaction videos lately, but the, what I realized is the most views I get would be on vlogs So I was like, you know what if vlogs get me views, why not do it? So I bought an HD camera for them. Uh, so thank you guys so much for everything I want to just show you guys everything I'm gonna have for when I go to university move into my dorm Okay, so wow literally I was just doing my outro and fuck I do look quite kind of oily Ugh, But maybe look better in the screen but I was just recording my outro and this battery already died. So I'd say it only has like, what, an hour of battery? So I might have to buy two more batteries. Or well, I don't know, maybe it's because I was taking some pictures and all that. Well, I'll find out more in the future, but thank God I bought the second battery and it is about to die. So I'm gonna do my outro really quick. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love every single one of you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Please help me out. Please support me. I'm gonna try to hit 1,000 subscribers before Christmas. No, that is not po Is it possible? Maybe, you know what? My second goal, I'm about to hit my first goal, 500 subs. I'm gonna try to hit 600 by Christmas, uh, hopefully. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love every single one of you. Mm -hmm. I was about to blow you guys a kiss. That's really weird. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Please hit that like button. Please support me and hit that sub button. This was your board session spike. And I really, really, really hope to see you guys in the next video.